Hi guys, my name is Lucia and today I'm going to show you how I just achieved this look. I have been wearing much more minimal makeup recently. I haven't been wearing a lot of eyeshadow. I haven't been spending as much time on my face makeup and I thought it would be nice to show you guys what I have been doing. This is kind of my quick and easy look. It's very light on the face and it doesn't take a lot of time. So if you want to see how I got this look, just keep on watching. So the first thing I'm going to do is put on moisturizer. This was sent to me from the Octoly website. This is the Pure 4-in-1 Cloud Cream. So this was sent to me by Pure. It has this pretty cool packaging. And I've been using this for a couple days now. It says it is a gel to water cream and I definitely do feel like it has a gel consistency. I like this but I don't love it. It does feel a little bit thin and I kind of like thicker moisturizers. So I don't think I would recommend it for the price but I definitely enjoy it and I will use it now that I have it. Also, if you can hear a crazy like shaking and rattling the wind is rattling our entire building right now and it's shaking our doors and it's just a lot so if you hear that going on that is what's happening i do like to spend a minute or two making sure that is all rubbed into my skin i will not be using primer i do not have a primer right now I decluttered the only one that I had because I didn't like it, so I will just be going in with my foundation. This is the Physician's Formula, the Healthy Foundation in the shade LC1. This is what I have been using lately. I know some of you have been asking my thoughts on this, and I like this foundation. I am not really one to say that I love things or that makeup has changed my life. You'll rarely hear me rave about something in that sense. And I don't feel that strongly about this, but I do really like it and I really enjoy it. It's not something I'm going to say, oh my god, it's the best thing ever, you need to go out and buy it. But I am definitely satisfied with this product. I like that it is light and it really does look like skin, which is something I heard other people say. And it definitely is true. I will be buffing that in with my beauty blender. It is by no means full coverage, so if you are someone who likes full coverage foundation, definitely, definitely don't go for this. I think you could probably get more coverage if you used a brush compared to a sponge, but I always use a sponge, that's how I like to apply my foundation. I'm going to add a little more to my nose and just to some areas that have some redness. For under my eyes, first I'm going to go in with the First Aid Beauty Eye Duty Triple Remedy in Fair Medium. This is a color corrector. I don't think you need to get this one in particular because this one is expensive. This was sent to me. I know that NYX has a peach under eye corrector and some other drugstore ones are good. So just any peach under eye corrector. This has really been helping me lately because I've been putting less concealer under my eyes. But I have been having dark circles so I like to have this step. And then I'm just going to use my Beauty Blender to buff that in. And it's not a very strong color corrector. Like, it only leaves a slight tint, but it's enough because my under eye bags aren't super bad. Next, I'm going to take my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light. And what I do is I open it like this, and you can see there's some product on the wand here. I just take that product on my finger, and that is all I'm going to use. So I've really been using a very, very light amount of this, and I just distribute that between my under eyes, and I will buff that in with my beauty sponge. I like to bring the excess on the nose just for some added coverage. To set my under eyes, I'm going to take the Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder in Translucent, but I'm just going to take the tiniest, tiniest bit of this on my beauty blender, just like that amount because I found that when I was setting this with a large amount of powder it just looked really crepey and made my under eyes look really dry so I have been trying to use as little powder as possible. To set my whole face, I'm going to take the Maybelline Fit Me Set and Smooth Powder in 120. I'm not going to take a whole lot of this, just like a light dusting all over my face, particularly on my T-zone. For bronzer, this is really nothing new. If you watch my shop, my stashes, this is the only bronzer that I use. It is the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil. Can you hear that wind? That's crazy. Also, it is Monday morning right now, and I know I'm not really saying anything. I'm so tired. Even though I went to bed 
at the time I always do. I got over eight hours of sleep, but I just came back from the gym and I'm just, it's definitely Monday, that is for sure. In this month's Shop My Stash, I'll link that down below if you missed it, I pulled for the Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso, and prior to this, I hadn't really used this a lot aside from in the summer, and I can't believe I waited this long to pull for this because I am really, really enjoying this. This gives a beautiful blush and also glow look to the skin, and I thought that it would be too dark for my skin right now, but it really isn't. I concentrated kind of in the back of my cheeks, so not really on the apples, but more where the bronzer is, but it still brings so much light to my face, and I really enjoy it. I also haven't been using this with a highlighter. I've just been using this product because it is shimmery, so you don't need a highlighter. Sometimes I will add a highlighter, but it's not necessary. I also dab off the excess on my hand because this is very pigmented, and since it is a very orange blush and I don't naturally blush that shade, I don't know if anyone does, it can look a little crazy if I go too overboard. So pretty. Sometimes I will put this on my eyes as an eyeshadow. I don't feel like doing that today because I'm wearing a blue and gray sweater, but sometimes I do that extra step. When I don't wear eyeshadow, I do always set my eyes just because they are very oily. Sometimes I will go in with a primer and an eyeshadow, but today I'm just going to use the Kat Von D Lock It Translucent Powder. I'm not going to prime my eyes. I'm just going to put some of this on them. I find that when I use this without a primer, my eyes still don't crease, which is nice because that means I don't have to use a primer. I'm just going to comb through my brows. I never wear anything in my brows, but I like to just comb through them so that they look a little bit more in place. For mascara, I always first comb through my eyelashes with a spoolie just to separate them. Now I'm going to go in with my favorite Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. You can especially see how good this mascara is when I don't wear any eyeshadow. I'm going to zoom you in a little bit. This tube is the slightest bit dried out. I did put some saline solution in it to make it last a bit longer, so it's not going to look quite as good as if it was a new tube, but it is still going to look good. I didn't film at all, but I did spend a solid like three to five minutes doing my mascara. That is always the thing that takes me the longest because I like to spend a lot of time on my mascara and just make sure it looks good. Lastly, we were going to do lipstick. I'm using the ColourPop Still Crazy Luxe Lipstick. I've really been enjoying this lipstick recently and I cannot talk and do this at the same time. That is the color and this is the finished look. It's very minimal. It doesn't look like I'm wearing a lot of makeup. My friend the other day was like, wait, you're wearing foundation? I so didn't know that. And that's kind of how I've always liked to do my foundation. But recently I've just been enjoying this look with everything on my face, just very minimal. This look takes me about 15 to 20 minutes, which for me is such a short amount of time to do my makeup. I've really been enjoying throwing this on and then going out the door and just living my life and experiencing things as opposed to spending a lot of time on my makeup. Don't get me wrong, I still love to do eyeshadow looks and I still love makeup. It's just this is what I've been into recently, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye!